Sometimes you just feel like a badass. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Mark the Ninja episode 7. On the last video we came off killing Kelly and now we are on the city's edge. Move fast. Those flashes of lightning could give the guards a chance to spot you. Now one of our objectives in this mission is to reach the inside of this building without being detected. And I am also doing a stealth mission. Which hopefully I can get through it in this video. Your new mark has heightened your senses. Concentrate, and you can sense everything around you, even through the walls. Ooh! Oh, that's pretty awesome. Well, we got Farsight now. Now, Farsight, we can see through the walls, like she said, and we can also see enemies and other obstacles in our way, and this will be useful throughout the whole game from this point on. Be careful. Pulling the wrong lever could cost you your life. Well, that's great to know, I guess. But luckily, I knew it was the one in the middle. Look at this. It's new gear for Karajan's troops. They can't even fight without these toys to protect them. Well, that's pretty sad, but we do see a glimpse of what we will have to face in the future. Some night vision goggles on those enemies and some highly protective armor. How are we going to get through there? That is a good question. Well, the best way will probably be to go to the right side and break this box over here so we can actually get up here Good. That got the door open. great now we can get up here and continue on our way and as soon as we get through here we'll get our objective completed if I do not fail miserably now I'm gonna break this light right here and make sure the guard is out of the way and there's another guard right there you had to be really careful and I oh crap yep and you see me with that flash. Luckily, I was quick enough not to be detective entirely. I have no idea how I did that. That was a lot of luck. The outer walls. So we have to face some more puzzle elements in the stage from here on out. A lot more platforming and puzzle elements will take the place of just killing enemies all the time. As I but do you know what they used to call the ones who got the mark? The sun. Oh, that's not a good sign. Hopefully we don't die in a horrible way. Oh, and there is a scroll right there. And we can't get it right now since that crate is blocking it. But in a moment, we will be able to get it. Let's break these lights so the guards and the dog don't see us. Now I'm going to be breaking most of the lights in this level just because I'm paranoid. And what's awesome about this mask that we have on, we can't be detected with our footsteps while we are running, while we jump or walk past enemies. But you know, they can't still see us if we come to light. Now I'm going to do something a little bit daring here and do a slide kick and quickly get down here so that guard doesn't see us. This one is sleep and let's leave him sleep and use a smoke bomb. Now what a smoke bomb would do is we can get under this area right here without getting killed by the laser. Get through the guard and wait for that one to turn around. Now there's some power lasers over there which will disable by hitting this box right here and will disable that generator upstairs. And after we disable this generator that is going to open the door so we can continue on our way. But let's wait for this guard to go to the right side first. I want him to come all the way back because I don't want to risk jumping over him like I did in the last video. Because I'm scared all the time that I do that. Karajan must have lost his mind if he thinks this crazy setup can keep him safe. Yeah, he did. Now let's get out of here. Now we're going to continue farther into the area and you don't want to test those because those will electrocute you with the rain. Now, quickly, quickly, do not be detected by any of these lights where the guards will be alert and that will pretty much make you waste time. Now you want to use a smoke bomb to get past this guard right here if you are doing a stealth run. 
come under here really quickly. You don't need to destroy the light since there's no After enemies. The war, most ninja went home, but not Master Tetsuji. On a journey along the Silk Road, he met a merchant who promised to restore his youth and glory. Hara's veterans spin tails over teacups. So that's interesting. The stories are getting a little bit longer as we go on, and Tetsuji is apparently someone who had the mark. And what has become of him, or became of him? Well, he could have been dead. I assume this takes place a long time ago, so we'll see how it goes as we progress and find more story elements through the scrolls. Now, using this far sight, we see the enemies right there in that light, which is a bit of an annoyance since I don't want to be detected by it. Like that right there. Stuff like that will make me fail this mission. Or anyway, at least fill my goals for not getting detected in this mission. Now I'm going to wait for this guard to pass and we can continue to the right side. And we'll get to our second scroll already. It's early in the game, so the first two are early. The third one will be a little bit later, about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Let's push this over here. And you will want to use your Farsight ability, but I know where the secret is it's on the right side there but if you use your fire sight you can see in those secret areas so now we're going to be pushing this crate to block those lasers and there is another crate that we'll have to get to on the right side to collect our scroll so let me push these over here and grab this and bring it right here again you don't have to break this light my bent walking stick well then, let's continue on our raid. So, as we're going through this stage, I am hoping to not die either, but that's not going to happen. Once you have the mark, they treat you like an outsider. Strange, unpredictable, and dangerous. You're as good as banished. And when your mission's over, you're dead. Well, that's a bit depressing, but as you can see, or for the first time in the light, which could symbolize her telling, you know, being truthful right now and not staying in the darkness, which I thought was interesting when I first seen it. So let's continue up here. We're going to have an uh, artifact at the bottom here. We're going to have to just go down. Again, make sure not to get detected by the lightning. Even if you do, you still have a chance to go somewhere and hide until the guards go back on their patrol. Now let's jump on this guard. We hit a checkpoint. Awesome. Now as we come this way... We're going to have some more guards to deal with. And this part is really hard to do because you have to do it somewhat quick and fast. Now there's a searchlight over there and there's a light right there which I'm going to take this light out. I usually don't take it out and risk it but for the sake of this mission and this video I don't want to risk anything if I don't have to. So we're going to wait for like 10 seconds for these guards to go on their way and not detect anyone doing anything and the lights are just popping out everywhere in the city that's totally normal in this game now we're gonna have to deal with some more guards which this one can be a little bit annoying but if you have a noisemaker which I'm gonna use right now you can distract them and get all the way to the right side but we're gonna have to do a double back into this area and I may make a mistake of getting caught. I don't know. But for the most point, let's keep continuing on the right side and avoid these lasers with our grappling hook. Just be patient and wait for the lasers to dissipate. Grab this and there's going to be another unlocking right there which you can increase your score meter.
We're getting close, but there are guards all over the grounds. We should head down to the catacombs. That will be our best shot at getting to the inner key. When this is all over, I hope it was worth it. I hope it was worth it as well. We could go to the catacombs and end the video on a shorter note, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take the brave way and the video is going to be a little bit longer than my usual videos. Now, the way I am going to do this is it's going to be a lot of patience in this part. So it might not be the most entertaining, but I'll make it entertaining for you guys. I'm going to try my best to not get caught up in this area there's a dog there's a guard above us and there's a guard on the top left of this area there's also a guard on the top right and there's guards through the door so there's guards everywhere and as you can see there's light everywhere as well so we're gonna take out that chandelier right there first now what this is gonna do is gonna alert everyone in that area right here and now I have to think of what to do well, I could take out this light right here while the guard is being distracted, so I won't be detected. But that's also going to be raising some issues for the other guard with the flashlight and the dogs coming close to the right side. Get away. Alright. So what I'm going to do, or I'm going to have to try to do is jump up here. Really quickly, come on, come on, get up here. Yes! <sighs> Alright, oh, there's a guard right here as well. They have them patrol everywhere. There's a lot of heavy security in this stage. So I'm going to try my best to jump over them. I'm going to have to get a good jump. Okay, good. Now he's going to be patrolling. I'm going to use my far sight to see where his awareness is at. It's almost going down and I'm just going to jump into that grate. And jumping into this great will allow us to get to that scroll you seen earlier. So all this worked for just that one scroll. Now if you want to be wondering what the stealth... Oh, it's an artifact, not a scroll. What the heck am I saying? Ignore that, ignore that. I guess I'm going crazy now. But if you want to know what stealth does in this game entirely... Now, if you stuff through enemies, you'll get a lot more points, but you have to be undetected by them, so you have to let the enemies go past you. That's one benefit of doing it. It's also a benefit of accomplishment. You can do either way, so whatever floats your boat in the game. I'm just showing one stuff stage, at least in this playthrough, so everyone can see how different it is. And it's really a lot of fun to play. Now I'm gonna have to use another noise maker. Hopefully I'm not gonna need more than one for the rest of the level. I don't think I will. I still have a few smoke bombs. I think we'll hit a checkpoint soon so it'll refresh on the noise makers. So it shouldn't be too much trouble. Now we're gonna go down to the catacombs finally, I think. Right, right, right. No, we're not. We have more to do to get another artifact. Now, there's an artifact at the top left of this area. We're going to have to pass through some heavily armored guards. But as long as we're careful and wait for them to be on their way, because, again, these broken lights don't mean anything to them, I guess. Yeah, you can see it right there at the top right. That's what we're going to have to do. And we also can unlock some more of those boxes and armor to get some more points increased. So if you are wondering what the other two objectives are for the stage, they both have to do with killing a guard. So I'm not going to even try to touch on them. So I'm going to only have seven out of nine seals at the end of this stage. Lock pick and discover those. Got the artifact. We're doing really well on that. Let me get down here and wait for him to come by. Patience is key. Now we can finally head to the catacombs and see what's new down there. And we're going to have a lot more stuff to do. 
this is a really long stage in terms of most of the stages we came across so far. Normally this stage has taken me about 40 minutes to do. There's something wrong with the air down here. When you see that foul color, move fast and try not to breathe. Well, now we have poison to deal with now. Can't ever catch a break. And hopefully... Oh, oh crap. Okay. That still doesn't come as being detected. Thank God. I still got shot though, which kind of sucks. Now there's a guard on the right, which we'll just ignore for now. We don't have to deal with that. But what we will have to deal with is a challenge room soon. And it's right through this vent right here. So let's enter this challenge room and oh boy, this challenge room is... The only reason it's hard is because of the controls. Now I haven't talked about the controls that much. The controls can be finicky. I think I talked about it in an earlier episode, but I never went into depth about it. So the gimmick with this one is you have to destroy these power boxes. It's really simple to do. It's the easiest one I came across so far. Besides the first one, the first stage of the challenge room. So we're just going to destroy these boxes. The hard part about this is with a controller and the analog stick, it can be hard to grapple onto these certain points because you might grapple onto another point and kill yourself accidentally, which we might see later on, which I really don't want to count as me dying in this game because it's a really stupid death. But now we have to deal with one more. We're going to have to go to the middle and... Do something a little bit daring. Now we're going to have to drop down and quickly get over here to hit this box. And now we can grab onto here, hang down, and then collect our scroll. I do not fear death. But with the leisure of choice, it loses its charm. Yeah, death soon does lose its charm where you know you're going to die anyway with the mark, doesn't it? So I might as well enjoy life while you can. Now to the right side, there's nothing there but lasers, so we can just go down right here. If we get that hatch open, we can sneak right under the outer walls. And that is our final objective for this stage, is to get in a hatch and that's going to be a little bit of an issue if you'll see why. First off let's destroy this box right here. Now we're going to go down and destroy that generator while we can. Now there's some guards patrolling the grounds and there's also gas we'll have to deal with. But we really have to destroy that generator if we want to get past the gas. Otherwise, I guess we could still do it without doing it. I never tried it before. But you could probably just jump over the guards or kill them easily. For the most part, I think. And as soon as we destroy this generator right here, we're going to get alerted by the guards. So no matter how far they are, as you can see, they'll always hear it. So you just have to be quick on your toes to get through this area. Okay, now we got past that. We only have a little bit more to do in this level. And I want to talk about something in one second. Now let's grapple up to here, shall we? Come on, grapple. Thank you. And... Freeze. Okay, so right here is where the control can be an issue. I guess you can know, or I guess you can tell what's going to happen right here. So, let's try to unfreeze it, shall we? Boom, I died due to the controls, but I'm not going to blame the controls entirely. I should have just been smashing the button. But now that I actually smashed down the button hard, I got through here. So, yes, 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 that was an annoying part, and I'm still peeved about that. But as soon as we destroy that, all the guards are going to be alert. But I'm going to throw a smoke bomb there to... Oh god, get up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Alright, now let's turn the crank. Okay, 
turn the crank the other way. Thank you. And let's jump down here and in the level. Looks like there's nowhere to go but down. Be sure to hold your nose. Awesome, we got through that without too much trouble through that one death, I'm not going to count. So yeah, you can see the other seals right there, we'll have the Lyric Guard into a stealth kill, so we couldn't do that, and the other one is just a stealth kill guards in the catacombs, all of them. So I'm going to try that in the future, and we'll see how that goes. But now we have some distraction items, some techniques, some attack items we can get. And I am going to probably go with the Distraction Fairy. Those are cow traps, which if enemies step on them, they'll get stuck. So that can be useful. I haven't used it yet. But I will use a Distraction Fairy because on the next level, we're going to have to deal with some enemies with night vision goggles. Now, I'm not sure what else I can get. I mean, I could technically just get this right here. Just to drag a body and show you how it looks when you do it. But for the most part, I don't think I'm going to get anything else. So I guess we can continue. Uh, yeah, let's just continue. And I'm just going to go with the... Eh, let's go back to normal for at least one video so you can see it again. And I'm going to get the distraction flare and the spike mines. Wow. Look at that chasm. My advice? Move fast and don't look down. Well, we have a lot to deal with. It looks like already we have a chasm to deal with. So we had to get to the surface on the next video, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. And then on the next one, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. But until next time, I have you all take care. And always remember to stay classy.